A lawyer for Chinese auto parts maker Huang Xiang Group Corp said on Thursday it plans to make a superior bid for the battery business of A123 systems than what a U.S. company has offered. Huang Xiang intends to bid at the auction for A123, which filed for bankruptcy earlier this week, the Ojin Guzina said at a court hearing in Delaware. The Chinese company also plans to fight Johnson Controls include JCI.com for a role of initial bidder for A123, the attorney said. A123, a maker of lithium-ion batteries used in hybrid and electric vehicles, declared thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Bankruptcy amid the backdrop of quality control problems and a disappointing market for electric vehicles. The company had won a $249 million U.S. government grant in 2009. Wang Xiang has been pursuing A123 for months. The bankruptcy came after a $465 million rescue deal by the Chinese company unraveled after the U.S. battery maker was unable to meet some conditions of the agreement. Mike Lyon feels it has been left at the altar a couple of times. Guzina, a lawyer for law firm Sidley Austin, which represents Wang Xiang, said in U.S. bankruptcy court in Wilmington. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A123 entered bankruptcy with an agreement to sell its automotive operations, including two factories in Michigan, two Milwaukee-based Johnson Controls JCI Dockham for $125 million. But that deal is subject to a court-supervised auction, and Wang Xiang plans to contest Johnson Controls as the initial bidder, or stalking horse in the sale process. Funds raised in the auction will go to repaying A123's creditors. We believe our stalking horse proposal will be materially better than Johnson Controls, Guzina said. A spokesman for Johnson Controls did not immediately respond to thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A request for comment. Judge Kevin Carey, who welcomed competitive bidding for A123, is scheduled to rule on the initial bidder on October 30th. It's nice that the debtor has become the popular girl at the dance with at least two bidders, maybe more, he said. A123 also has attracted bidders for its non-automotive operations, which includes grim storage batteries. Wang Xiang must receive approval from the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States and the Government of China to acquire A123. The Chinese company will submit its thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased proposals next week, Guzina said. The A123 bankruptcy has quickly became politicized with less than four weeks before the U.S. presidential election. Republican candidate Mitt Romney said the government grant awarded to A123 was an example of the Obama administration gambling away billions of taxpayer dollars. The White House has allotted about $90 billion for various clean energy programs as part of its economic stimulus plans. Obama campaign spokesman Adam Fletcher said this week that the investments help to more than double renewable energy production from wine and solar, creating good-paying jobs. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. And bringing manufacturing back to our shores. Wang Xiang arrived in court armed with its own proposed bankruptcy loan, known as a debtor-in-possession dip loan, to counter the financing Johnson Controls arranged with A123. Carey approved on an interim basis the Johnson Controls loan after concessions were made to bring it in line with Wang Xiang's proposal. Dip loans often place stringent requirements on a bankrupt company, such as ordering asset auctions on tight deadlines. The loans give a lender influence over the outcome of a case. Guzina said Wang Xiang would seek to thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Replace the Johnson Controls dip loan at the October 30th hearing, when A123 will also seek final approval for its bankruptcy finance. The attorney also said Wang Xiang wants to extend the bidding period for the battery maker's business closer to the end of the year, compared to A123's proposed auction on November 19. Given the time it needs for approvals, Wang Xiang has an interest in slowing down the bidding process. The case is A123 systems include, Delaware Bankruptcy Court, number 12 to 12859.